Now in this question number 71 we have to tell what is depicted by a cross in which F1 generation resembles both the parents. When the F1 generation resemble both the parents it means both the traits they are dominant. When both the traits they are dominant so it means this is case of co-dominance. So it means in the case of question number 71 the right option is option number 3. So answer 3 is for this question. So now let's discuss the question number 72 here. Now let's discuss question number 72. The tendency of population to remain in genetic equilibrium may be disturbed by. Now this is a question based on hardy Wienberg equilibrium which says that all populations randomly mating populations tend to remain in genetic equilibrium if there is no migration no mutation and of course as we said they are randomly mating but if there is lack of random mating that means it is non-random mating the best example of non-random mating is inbreeding so in case of inbreeding homozygosity will increase and certainly the gene frequencies will also be altered so the best choice is option three and hence our answer is three now let's discuss the next question that is 73. So in this question number 73 the disease which we are talking here that is thalassemia. Now thalassemia this is an autosomal recessive disorder. Now here both the parents they are carrier. Both the parents they are carriers so it means the genotype for the parents that is this heterozygous condition so after the mating there is there can be formation of three types of the zygotic combination in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1 right if we look into this zygotic combination the individual which will be formed that is having dominant allele and the thalassemia this is an recessive disorder it means this individual is will be normal right this one is carrier and this is homozygous recessive condition so surely this will be affected individual so it means what is the proportion of the affected diseased individual proportion is one out of four or you can say the proportion is 25 percent so for this question this is right option right so for question number 73 right answer is 2. So let's now discuss the next one. In this question number 74 we have to discuss that in the plant breeding which is the basis which is the root of this program. Now basis is collection of variability. If the large number of variants we have the selection of the parents that would be easier collection of variability is basis of plant feeding and the another term utilized for that is germ plus collection so it means for this question the right answer is three that is the germ plus collection so now let's move on to the next question here let's discuss question number 75 the cell mediated immunity inside the human body is carried out by now this is a direct factual question so we know cell mediated immunity or CMI is due to the T lymphocytes so our answer is for the B lymphocytes provide humoral immunity so here the answer is option number four now we move on to the next question that is question number 76 now in this question there are three columns given in one column it is the name of the animal in column two there is one characteristic feature and in column three it is the phylum or the class to which it belongs so we have to choose the correct option now in this the first one that is ichthyophis it is terrestrial that is right but 
reptilia the class to which it belongs that is wrong rather it's a amphibian option 2 limulus body covered with chitinous exoskeleton that is right but again pisces is wrong it belongs to the phylum arthropoda third one adamsia radially symmetrical this is correct but it is not in porifera rather it is a cnidarian and fourth one petromyzon it's an ectoparasite on the body of other fish and it belongs to the class cyclostomata of vertebrata and this is the correct choice so our correct answer is option number four so let's move on to question number 77